with ETSU head coach George Quarles. Coach, first season last year, I know that's not what you wanted. Talk a little bit about your biggest learning experience year one here at ETSU. You know, learned a lot of things. Uh, I don't know what the m biggest one was, but uh, I just think, you know, couple one is uh, getting everybody on the same page. Uh, you know, coming into last season, ETSU had come off the greatest season in school history. Um, I think our guys listened to the hype a little bit. We were picked to finish high again in the conference. And you can tell them all you want to. Uh, you know, we just weren't ready to go. Uh, I think we thought it was going to be a little easier than it was as a team. And then we just never got everybody going in the same direction. Uh, you know, there would be games the offense played well and the defense struggled. There were games where the defense carried us and the offense couldn't do anything. Um, but I just think culture is huge. Um, I think we have a much better culture right now, a much better work ethic, a much better appreciation of the good times. And, you know, we need to use what happened last year as a motivation. You know, we need to play. We need to be that team that, you know, has a chip on our shoulder, it needs to be a blue collar team that gets after it and, you know, makes people earn everything they get. So, you know, you certainly hope we win them all. You know, I don't know. I have no idea what the uh, season holds, but I know our guys have worked really hard this off season, and we're excited about the chance to, to regroup and see what happens. Going from 2022 to 2023, what's on both sides of the ball? What's one thing you wanted to see your team improve on the most? You know, I think uh, attention to detail. Uh, I thought that hurt us so much last year on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, we could have 10 guys doing the right thing and one guy not doing his job, and it, it showed up. It exposed us at times, and that was on both sides of the ball. And I just think, uh, like I said, that attention to detail, getting everybody on the same page has been huge for us. Like I said, I really believe our culture's better, our energy is better, and like I said, we're excited about the season. The quarterback position is so big. Of course, Tyler Riddell decided to end up coming back to ETSU. Talk a little bit about his development. He had a big year two years ago. Last year wasn't his best. Has he been taking that step forward this offseason? I think so. You know, he's gained a little bit of weight. Uh, we've got competition at that spot. Uh, we brought in a, a transfer quarterback, uh, Tim Dorsey. We brought uh, a year ago Baron May, who played a little bit, especially in the Mississippi State game. So I really believe there'll be competition. And whether it's Tyler or whether it's one of those other ones, we need to be better. And that's the same message I'm telling them. I really don't care which one of you it is, but we got to be better at that spot. And uh, it's just such a, an important position, most important position in all, all sports. And um, I think if we're better there, it gives everybody else hope and confidence. And, you know, I think – you'll see some better results if we get better quarterback play. The transfer portal continues to explode. I feel like every time I talk to you, it's just bigger and bigger. Have you and your staff changed your approach at all in terms of how you're balancing the transfer portal with high school recruiting? Yes and no. You know, we go back and forth. You know, clearly the portal has probably hurt us as much as anybody in our league. Um, you know, and I, you know, I still think you got to build your program off high school kids. And... To me, a lot of the guys that we get out of the portal, you know, there's a reason they're leaving sometimes. And, you know, but, you know, I like the ones we've gotten out of the portal. You know, we've made it up, uh, very clear what our expectations are as a player and as a person, as a student, and they've done really well. Um, but it's just hard to get all those guys. You know, you spend a lot of time recruiting transfer portal kids you know and our success rate has not been real good with that if we bring in 10 guys sometimes we'll get two of them you know it's just it's a it's a lot of effort because other schools are paying them some money right and you know a lot of times we don't have the resources to be able to pay one you know whatever they're asking and you know it's just, it's just tough deal the final question coach do you feel like 
the decreased expectations from the media and outside sources this year is just going to add a little bit of motivation to your team going into 2023. That's what I've been telling them. I told them last year we listened to how good we were. You know, we went into the season, everybody telling us how good we were going to be, and obviously that didn't come to fruition. And this year you're going to listen to how bad you are. Right. And you need to use that as motivation. We need to be a group that plays with a chip on our shoulder and just, you know, plays with a little bit of anger. You know, and I think if we'll do that, we'll be just fine. And the way they have worked in the off season, I believe we've taken that approach that, hey, we've got to prove that last year was not us. We've got to be a much better team. Coach Quarles, I appreciate you joining me. Congrats on your first season. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys bounce back in 2023. Thank you.